So this video covers how I can export out a Civil 3D surface and get the contour labels and contour lines look like I want them to do. Uh, the purpose of this is to share with other people who may not have Civil 3D or object enablers installed. So the first thing I want to do is make sure that I preserve my original drawing. So I'm going to do a Save As. And I'm just going to call this Export and say Yes. All right, so now I've got a blank drawing or a drawing with the data that I want in it that I need to export. So I'm going to select the labels. I'm going to right click and select similar. And I'm going to select my surface as well. And then I'm going to press explode or run the explode command. And that's going to explode my surface and my labels. So I'm going to end up with a block if I go to AutoCAD properties. And really, I just need my surface into polylines. So I'm going to select that block and hit X for ex or type explode to get it to explode in even further. And now I have line segments. So I really don't want line segments. I want polylines. So I'm going to select a major contour line and a minor. Um, right click and select similar. Um, select similar. Do the same thing for these. And now that I've got all of them selected, I can do lay ISO to isolate it. So then I can run the join command. And I can make a big window and press enter. And now it's going to join all of them together. So if I look at it now, now I have joined polylines, which is what I'm looking for. And if I zoom in, I can see that um, the polylines don't go through, they end at that location. Um, sometimes we want to make sure that the polylines look correctly if we have dashed lines. In this case, mine are all solid. Uh, but if we want to, we can select all of my polylines and come over here for line type generation and make sure it's enabled. And so now I've got the look that I want, but they're all just regular AutoCAD objects. Um, and that's what really what I was looking for for my output. So I'll hit Save, and then I'll be done. Uh, but there is one more thing that I should have mentioned as I was doing this, is that in order for this to work, your contour label style or your contour label groups need to use the masking option of contour line. If I do from label style and do the same thing, explode the labels, and if I move these out of the way, you can see that the line is still there. And that's really not the look that I'm looking for. I'm looking for the, this type of look. So in order to get that type of look, you want to make sure that you use contour line only instead of uh, from label style. And so that's how you can export out a surface, get the contour polylines and the labels that you're looking for.